हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो सो नाउ ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वन प्लस स्मार्टफोन विच वर एलिजिबल फॉर ऑक्सीजन ओएस 14 हैव ऑलरेडी रिसीव्ड स्टेबल बिल्ड्स सो आई थॉट इट्स द राइट टाइम टू डू अ डिटेल्ड कंपैरिजन बिटवीन ऑक्सीजन ओएस 13.1 विद दैट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ओएस 14 इन दिस विल कवर ऑलमोस्ट एवरीथिंग लाइक यूआई फीचर्स एंड अदर चेंजेस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर आई हैव माय टू फोन्स टुवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दिस इज माय वन प्लस 10 प्रो एंड टुवर्ड्स द राइट हैंड साइड दिस इज वन प्लस 11 वन प्लस 10 प्रो इज रनिंग ऑक्सीजन ओएस 13 dot one stable build and one plus 11 is running oxygen os 14 stable build and guys before talking about all the changes our hindi channel is live now with the first video being uploaded on that you guys always wanted hindi videos so make sure to subscribe that channel too a lot of awesome content is on the way so the first noticeable change what you'll see soon after installing oxygen os 14 is layer to animations on oxygen os 14 the animations are way faster and smoother and it feels so pleasing using the device and that noticeable change you can only see soon you switch from 13.1 to 14 that is one of the major improvement what oneplus have done with oxygen os 14 talking about the lock screen changes so here you will notice another change in the lock screen where you can see the dial pad layout is completely different from 13.1 and i personally used to like the dial pad present on 13.1 compared to 14 another change layer to lock screen is in the charging animation so here you can see side by side difference in the charging animation of 13.1 with that of 14 now whenever you connect the charger the background completely becomes dark which wasn't the case on 13.1 oxygen os 14 also brings more shortcut options for the lock screen previously you can see we had options like google assistant google pay device control and none but now you have things like qr code torch etc another change which you guys will see on oxygen os 14 is layer to font so here if you see the font in the status bar which is completely different from 13.1 and this looks pretty nice now and the font changes you can find it in the entire ui not only with this status bar in the settings page also you can see bolded text present as said text looks pretty clean on oxygen os 14 now another change what you'll notice and that's layer to alert slider so on 13.1 whenever we used to slide the alert slider the pill also moves in the same direction for example if you move the alert slider towards the top side the pill also used to move but that's not the case with oxygen os 14 it's static at one place another change is in the app drawer whenever you slide on these alphabets you can see the pill appears in the white color followed by the black color of the text but that wasn't the case here the pill used to appear in the blue color talking about some of the ui changes so most of the ui changes you'll notice in the settings page so if we go to settings here you can see a clear difference now the segregation between each tab is quite good and the separation can be seen with this line between every settings which wasn't the case on 13.1 wherein we had a single section for things like wifi mobile network bluetooth etc without any kind of separation and it also looks that oxygen os is getting inspired by ios and the same thing is carried forward in the sub settings too which you can see here and if you also notice the search bar here search bar is now thicker compared to 13.1 and it's not only in the settings page even in the app drawer you'll see that change as you can see here there are few more ui changes which we'll talk and after that we'll move towards the features side so one of the ui change you'll find under display and brightness section so if you tap on high resolution now you can see a preview which shows high end standard preview which wasn't the case on 13.1 and under screen resolution also we have a preview now under sounds and vibration haptic tab have been moved towards the bottom side which was under the same section on 13.1 a small change you'll also notice under the battery section so tapping on battery health here you can see on 14 we have two options one is smart charging and the second one is stop charging at 80% but here on 13.1 we only had one option which was wise charging so these were some of the ui changes now let's move on to the features so oneplus have added this dynamic island type stuff which is also called fluid cloud and that works with services like zomato swiggy and also with applications like clock where if you start the timer the fluid cloud will pop up in the status bar if you run the application in the background as you can see touching and holding on it a pop up will appear showing you more details about the same thing and as said this is not only limited to clock it also works with applications like screen recording as you can see here then another two add ons what you guys will notice on oxygen os 14 are this file doc and recents file so file doc is an tab where you can save all your data and that also gets synced with your other oneplus smartphones so if you have multiple oneplus smartphones and if you have added any data in the file doc that will be synced with your other oneplus smart phone let me show you how does this file doc works 
so i'll open chrome here if i select a text or image i just have to hold on it drag and you can see file doc have already popped up this way you can save this text to file doc and later use it whenever it is required same way you can do it with the images also so it's a very useful feature and after that here under the smart sidebar we also have a recent page instead of going to file manager you can directly access all the recent images and documents present on your device one of the best implementation which i have seen on oneplus smartphone camera also got few new add ons though the ui have also been changed and this feature might not come on some smartphone but it is present on my oneplus 11 after the update of oxygen os 14 which is called interval shooting where you can select number of shots and interval another new add on what oneplus have done on oxygen os is the ability to extract content so whenever you take a screenshot you can see a new option called extract content the ai will analyze the screenshot and it will allow you to extract content and images from here so for example here is the image you just have to touch and hold on it and you can drag and drop it in the file doc same way you can do it for the text also long press on it select the text you can see there are two options save to file doc or save to notes you can drag and drop to the file doc or you just have to tap on save to file doc and the text will be saved under file doc this option was not present on 13.1 then moving on to the other changes which are under the gallery application so first change what you will see under the gallery is the new redesigned ui looks kind of similar to apple's photos application wherein you have these options like days months years so this is a minor ui change what you will see on oxygen os 14 but after that there are few new add ons done on 14 so one of the example i'll take from here if you select multiple photos there's a option to create and here there's a new feature called create gif tapping on it it will give you few additional options to increase speed direction etc and tapping on save you'll have options to select the quality the maximum what you can select is 2080 pixels and another new change in the gallery is ability to extract subject from the photo so for example here you can see i have a photo in which my dog is there if i long press on it it will extract the dog and file doc will pop up i just have to drag and drop that image later which gets saved in the file doc so this is again a great add on done by oneplus which wasn't present on 13.1 after that we also have a auto pixelate option which is not present here on 13.1 we do have pixelate option but you can see there is no auto pixelate we have to manually do it but here there are two options one is auto the ai will analyze the content and it will hide the sensitive information like here if you see the model number of the device have been blurred out and another change which i like under edit section going to markup tool so for example here if you draw a circle and if you after completion if you hold your finger there the ai will analyze and make a proper shape as you can see but this option is not present on 13.1 even if you hold once completion of your drawing so these were some of the gallery features now under settings also we have some new features going to display and brightness section tapping on screen refresh rate towards the bottom side you can see there's a option called app specific refresh rate so this was again a most awaited feature and a lot of oneplus community users were asking about it where you can run almost every application in 120 hertz before we only had options like high end standard and most of the applications used to run in 60 hertz only so this is one feature you will find it in the settings after that if you go to sound and vibrations here oneplus have added some new ringtones called aquamorphic theme and they are pretty nice ringtones and notification tones later on going to aod styles so here we have three new aod style which comes with oxygen os 14 called carbon footprint so this gives you a nice message related to global warming if you walk 10000 steps instead of using other modes of transport then you can reduce the carbon emission by up to 1.74 kg though we had a similar aod styles on 13.1 but with a different message and the last add on which i personally use a lot after oxygen os 14 which you can find it in the connection and sharing settings and that's linked to windows so here you can link your device to windows using your microsoft account and you can access all your data on your pc without even touching the phone things like messages and also you can take the calls on your pc itself so guys these were all the changes between oxygen os 13.1 with that of 14 i hope i have covered everything if i missed out anything do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys going to like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day